Guys, I'm back with the sales for Christmas Eve, Monday the 24th, and Christmas Day the 25th. Um, I didn't pack anything up yesterday, but today is Christmas Day, well, it's the evening, and I want to get it packed up so I can go to the post office tomorrow. We had quite a few sales, a lot of video game stuff, as you can see. So either people were um, spending the money they already got, or they just really wanted this and were online shopping on Christmas. So... I'm sorry about the camera moving there. The cat's trying to jump into the, the video. Um, I'm not feeling too great, so hopefully we can get all this packed up pretty quickly. And then hopefully tomorrow we'll bring some more sales. So we'll make this one quick. I have three Wii sold. Two white ones. I get 40 shipped for those. Here's a black one. I got 41 shipped. I'm probably going to up that one to 42, 43 and see what the highest I can get is with it selling pretty quickly. But 40 seems to be pretty good for the white Wiis. Um, this is an Xbox 360, paid $25, uh, it came with games and controllers, I just sold the system for $73 shipped, that's a 250 gig, um, the Microsoft 360 Slim I think it's called, so that's pretty cool. Video games, Arachnoid, this sold for $20 shipped on a best offer, I paid $0.50, cents, um, so that was pretty cool. Super Mario Maker, I paid 5 that sold for $24 shipped. Need for Speed came out of a big PS2 lot that sold for 9 this is Pokemon Coliseum, but it's not the bonus disc, so I'm actually going to have to put it in a different case. Um, it's the actual Pokemon Coliseum. That sold for 25 or 24 or something like that. Wii Sports, this one's sealed, sold for 28 shipped, so that's pretty cool. X-Men Legends sold for 12 shipped. Four sets of Wii controllers, the two white ones are the plain uh, ones that are not Wii Motion. Those sold for 30 and 28 I lowered the price to 28 on one because I wasn't sure if the 30 was going to sell, but since it did sell, I'll just leave them at 30 going forward. I also sold a black um, set of Wii controllers with nunchucks. That one was also for 30. And then the ones that are Wii Motion Plus, which are these black ones right here, I got 43 shipped for two of those. I sold a 360, kind of the chrome controller here for 28 shipped. That was tested and it works. Sold a 360 network adapter for 18. Uh, this is a Black & Decker Quick and & Easy, I think it is, um, food processor lid. This sold for 30 ships, so that was a pretty good deal. I think I paid 5 or 10 for the whole system, or the whole food processor. Here is one clothing item, a Melee Kalika, whatever it's called. It's a Hawaiian shirt, not silk. Um, it's cotton, but it's got Santa Claus on there. It's like a christmas theme one. I bought a bunch of these with some uh, Patriotic ones by the same brand. It's Rain Spooner, but it's the Melee whatever design for the uh, Christmas ones. I paid seven a piece for them. I bought like six or seven. And then I ended up selling this one for 35 shipped on a best offer. So that sold today. And lastly, one person bought these two sets of Canon um, 4x6 photo papers. Um, I bought a big lot of this stuff for 50 bucks. It also came with some that were 8.5 by 11s. I sold all the 8.5 by 11s for like 300 and then this is just the leftover stuff. And these two packs sold for $29.99 each, so uh, six, about 60 shipped for those. So I have two other sales that went through, and I had already left storage unit. Um, actually, three now, so I have to pick those up um, tomorrow and add them to the back end of the video. Hope you guys had a great Christmas, and let me know if you have any questions. Hey guys, these are the final sale from Christmas Day. I had um, four actually other sales, but one they didn't pay for till today, which is now Wednesday. But these three did get paid, just didn't pack them up. Animal Crossing GameCube memory card sold for 14 shipped. That came in a $25 GameCube lot. Pokemon Ranger came out of a $15 DS slot. This sold for 14 shipped as well. And then a Coors um, belt buckle. This came out of a $10 lot of belt buckles I bought. I bought Three of them for 10 bucks. I think I sold one for like 14, one for 25, and this one sold for 18. So, pretty good for three little items. We'll pack those up, get them out today. We've already had a few sales today on Wednesday, too, so hopefully I'll have some more to show. Hey guys, this is the sales update for Wednesday, December 26th. So, the day after Christmas. Had a pretty good day. Um, sold a little bit of variety of stuff here. No clothing aside from the shoes. Um, so that's just not really been doing too well for me, but that's okay. We don't pick clothing up as much anymore either. What we do pick up, we try to pick up unique things that might need to take the right person to buy it, but when we do, we'll have a good profit margin. So I'm okay with working on the hard goods. Uh, my opinion, they're more fun than the clothing to list and sell, and it seems like they do a little bit better. So 
What did sell though, my favorite, one of my favorite finds as of late, it's an Everlast um, leather medicine ball. Kind of that, I think it's definitely older. It's made in USA. Well, I said it appears older. I think they said it was like people online said 80s or something. I can't be certain, but I did list it. It's nine pounds. Paid five for it at a garage sale, and I sold it for best offer of 65 shipped. It had some wear right here. That's kind of the worst part about it, this whole little section. Um, but it still took a best offer of 65 bucks. So happy with that. Uh, paid five. Probably still cost me like, I think it's going to be like 15 to ship it because it's going pretty close. But um, we'll make some good money on that. Good old better, Betty Crocker's cookbook. Sometimes these binder ones do well. Depends on the year and the condition. I paid like two bucks for this and it sold for 20 shipped. So happy about that. A Super Bowl DVD set. Two of them are sealed. Um, actually, three of them are sealed. The first one's open. Um, well, I shouldn't say first. This one's open. The three are sealed. The first one's technically this one. Um, this, the case is in rough shape. You can kind of see there on the other side's even worse. It's like crushed in there. I bought this from someone who I believe is like a, some, they deal in media or whatever. Cause they had a ton of Blu-rays and DVDs and CDs. I don't know if they were just getting rid of their collection or if they were a se former seller, but I had to pay up. I paid 12 bucks for that. Um, and then I sold it for 40 ships. So happy about that because it goes media mail. Uh, we'll still make some pretty good money. Some Clark's bendable shoes. These look like they're in pretty good shape. They were three bucks. Um, ended up selling these on a best offer for 25 ships. So happy about that. Namco Museum sold for 10 ships for the PSP. Mario Party 2. Really great game to sell, but this one is totally trashed. Um, it sold for 26 shipped. Um, it does work. Try to clean it up once more before it goes out. But this, I did listen that this one was in really poor condition. A really good Game Boy game. I find it all the time. Well, relatively. And it always sells really well. This is Metroid. Hopefully it'll focus. There it is. Zero Mission. Game Boy Advance. Um, I had it listed at 28. I don't do best off run video games. But someone messaged me and said, Hey, will you do um, 26? And I said, for that price, sure. I sent him an offer back. He accepted and paid. So we're good to go there. That came out of a um, Game Boy Advance SP lot I bought, so it was basically nothing. Um, some HP Ink 901s. A lot of this all together. I think I paid a couple bucks for it. It sold for 20 shipped. And then lastly, a Nintendo 64 console controller. It comes with the cables as well. It does not have the expansion pack. Um, I sold this once before for 65 shipped. Shipped it to them, and they said it didn't work. The cords were bad. They said they bought a new cord, still wouldn't work, so I thought that was interesting, and then they returned it. Um, I proceeded to open the item up, confirm it is the same one that I sent, which it is, all the serial numbers match and everything, uh, conditions the same. Plugged my co the cord back into my TV, and it worked perfectly. Tried multiple games, everything's fine. Basically, they couldn't even get a signal to show up on the TV, so I have no idea what they were doing. I tested it, and I'm going to test it again before I pack it up, but it does work, everything's fine. So I think it was just an issue on their end, or maybe they really just wanted to return it, and we're looking for an excuse. Either way, it sold again for 65 shipped. No games, just the one controller. So pretty happy there. If anything else sells, I will let you guys know, and we'll see what tomorrow brings. Hey guys, these are the sales from Thursday, uh, the 27th. Quite a good day here, a lot of video game stuff as usual. Seems to be the norm for me now with all the video game stuff I'm buying, but hopefully it still helps. You guys can learn something from it, um, and some other items did sell too. So we'll jump right in. Uh, Sega Genesis Classic paid 25 with some games. Uh, this sold for 35 shipped. Can I bought it from the video game guy? He said it was a real Genesis. I thought it was going to be an actual one, but it was the classic one. Uh, if it was a real one in the box, I probably could have got a little bit more money, but um, got 35 shipped. It does work. It doesn't even look like it was ever really used that much, so it'll probably cost like 10 or 12 to ship it. Even though it's a big box, it's super light. There's like It's got no weight to it at all, and um, that'll bring back some of our money, but some of the games that came with it were pretty valuable. I think one's like a $50 game and one's a 30 a 20, and there was a couple of 10s, so plenty of money to be made in the games alone. Uh, two Polaroids going out to Retrospect. These are one-step close-ups. I paid... Well, actually, these came out of a... Like a $85, I think it was, or... Nine, no, $90, a lot of stuff that I bought. So these are just icing on the cake. 
held on to them for a couple weeks hoping I'd find some more, but haven't found any. I just want to get rid of them and not let them take up space, so I sold them for 28 shipped each. Two GameCube controllers. These are the black ones. I lot the two GameCube controllers together, and I get 50 shipped almost every time, so 50 shipped there is awesome. Mario World sold for 14. It's kind of a beat-up um, game. I think it's drop shipped. The person said don't include an invoice or anything, so... Probably a drop shipper there, which is fine. Uh, Banjo Tooie sold for twenty eight shipped. This came out of a twenty dollar Nintendo sixty four lot, so that's a good deal. Two DS games, uh, Pokemon Heart Gold. I authenticated. It seems to be pretty good, so that one's fifty five. And then a Final Fantasy game sold for ten, so that's good. Final Fantasy here number seven sold for twenty. Does not come with the manual, just the games. Breath of Fire. Um, this came out of the. Both of these came out of the. Um, fire lot the the actual fire and dumpster dive lot so uh, this one sold for 35 ships so another 55 dollars out of there here's the dlc 8 cuisinart blade oh, you can see me there that's not what we want to see i want to scare you guys um but it's a blade with the stem built in so that's 15 shipped um here is a wii nunchuck brand new came with a 25 dollar wii i bought um this sold for i think 16 ships so some decent money there uh, PS3, this is the older one, 40 gig, so not a huge hard drive, but comes with a controller and it's sold within one night for $95. Here is an original Xbox, it does come with the cords. No controller, which is not how I do it anymore. Now I list them with one controller, the small, the S controller for 65 shipped. This one sold for 55 shipped without the controller. Um, it took a lot longer to sell this one though, so in the future I've been putting the controller with it because they move almost within a day or so. And then lastly, a Devil Race um, Majestic jersey. It's not actually vintage. It's like a retro one, but it's still sold for 50 shipped on a best offer uh, going to the UK. I paid 10 for it. I'm happy to get rid of it for 50 bucks, and it's sold within a day. So that's everything. If anything else happens to come through in the next two hours, hopefully I'll put it in this video. If not, hopefully um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday bring some good sales going into uh, the last day of the month of December, and I'll let you guys know what it is, and I hope you're all doing well out there, and thank you as always for your support. Hey everyone, these are the final sales from Thursday. I actually had four things. Uh, one thing sold earlier in the day, but they finally paid, and then three other things sold while I was packing stuff up, so that was really cool. I love those late night sales, even though they're not packed up till today because I had to go back to the storage unit to get them. It's always cool having a few extra things go through at the end of the day. So this was the thing I actually sold earlier. It's an Anthony Robbins Classic Edition. Um, six of them or five of them I think are sealed. One or two are not. Um, the only thing is one of the sealed ones, you can tell the disc has come loose inside. So it's not really ideal, but I still sold it for 20 bucks. I think I paid like $3 for it, so um, I'm happy with that. I just gotta, I'll probably wipe this down a little bit because it's a little rough here, um, and then we'll ship it out. I sold some Wii controllers again, two regular white Wii controllers. They sold for $29.99. Here is a Melee, I think is how it's pronounced, vacuum bag. Um, I bought two different ones of these from one estate sale. I paid like 10 bucks for all this stuff. It was a really great deal. Um, I sold the first one for 30 shipped. It was a smaller bag, actually, um, or filters or whatever. This one, I guess, is not as desirable. This one only sold for 18 shipped, but it's super light, so it'll go first class. And then I sold, lastly, Mega Man X4. I just sold it like this. It's missing the cover. I couldn't find one when I listed it a while back. Um, this came out of the um, a lot of stuff that was in the fire and storage unit, or what's it called? Um the dumpster dive lot um and unfortunately the case was all cracked and nasty and i didn't have one to replace it so i'm gonna go see if now i have one and i can switch it out i did list it though without the plastic cover i just listed it like this um as you can see there's no cover here so it sold for 17 or something 16 or 17 ship so happy with that I'll wipe down the, I always wipe down the disc again because I saw there's a smudge there. I must have touched it when I put it away. So I'll wipe that down. We'll clean off this a little bit. I always re-wipe down all my Wii controllers um, with a magic eraser just to make sure there's no scuffs. I'll pack it all up and get it out. And today's Friday. I already have a few sales. I think like three or four. So hopefully we'll get a bunch more this weekend to show you guys. Hello everyone. Uh, back with the weekend sales for... 
weekend of Sunday or Friday, December twenty eighth through Sunday, December thirtieth. A pretty good day. I have twenty three, I think, sales that are paid for. There's only twenty two here. I left one in storage. I got it out too. I, it's a clothing item. I pulled it out and set it to the side, and I was going to grab the other clothing item. And then I didn't pick it back up on the way out. So usually I double check my thing. And I kind of did look through. I'm like, oh yeah, I got all this, this, this. But I forgot to make sure it was in the cart uh, to bring back to the car. So I will have to add it in the back end. But there's still three hours left tonight. So maybe there'll be some more sales too. Um, as you can see, a lot of video game stuff here on the left. And kind of in the middle there. A couple other odds and ends too. We'll jump right in and get started. Um, a bunch of controllers. You can see the silver GameCube ones. They sold for 50 shipped. Purple ones sold for or indigo or whatever you want to call it, um, 50 shipped. As you can see, there's some yellowing here. There's some scuff marks. I'm not sitting here and scrubbing these things down, so they're looking perfect. I wipe them down with a little, um, one of those Clorox wipes to kind of disinfect them. If there are a couple of scuffs, I may grab my um, dry erase, not dry erase, <laughs> magic eraser, and I'll kind of scrub them down a little bit, but... There is going to be some discoloration and stuff still and some markings, but they still sold 50 bucks a piece, so that was awesome. Uh, two 360 controllers, a black one and a red one. I usually sell these um, and get about 20, 18 or 20 a piece anyways. These two had a couple of damages. You can see right here the little, it's kind of like a chunk out of that one, and the black one had the same. They both work perfectly though. I sold them for 38 shipped with the damage. Probably could have got like 40 or 45 if I would have put them together. And they were perfect condition, but just lowered the price a little bit and someone jumped on those, so pretty cool. Here's an original Xbox. The green controller goes with the Halo Reach Edition, I think. Um, got this one with the original Xbox, not the Halo Reach one. And this ended up selling for 20 shipped by itself, so pretty good deal. Uh, we sold for 40 shipped. Again, just the console with the cords. Some PS2 games. Driver sold for 12 shipped. Two Dragon Ball Z games. Tenkaichi or Tenkaichi. And Tenkaichi 2 sold for 28 ship. The one you really want is number three. If you get the Tenkaichi or Kaichi, whatever, three, that one usually does the best on PS2, and the Wii it still does well. Some, P uh, some individual games Final Fantasy Greatest Hits with a crack to the thing that 27 ship, which is pretty on the high end now. They really dropped in price. Dragon Warrior 2, pretty good game, sold for 28 ship on the original Nintendo. South Park, uh, disc and manual only for PS1, sold for 9 shipped. Robocop, I think like 12 or 13 ships, something like that with the case for Game Boy. Here's another Yahtzee, the Deluxe um, Dice here. I sold one previously for 10. Uh, this one sold for 10 as when I played $2 for the whole Yahtzee. A DeWalt Charger sold for 24 shipped, the DW9116. I just sold another one of these I bought from the same person and got good feedback on that too, so that was cool. Um, Wii controller sold for 28 ship. This is my last set that I had for 28. I won't list them. I'll list them at 30 from now on because they all keep selling. GameCube for 48 ship with just the cords. A book set I bought from the library for 9 bucks. The Brides of Montclair. Um, these, it's like a Christian, I think, young adult, young teen or something, preteen type book. Books. Um, this paid 9 bucks for them and then I sold them for 40 on the best offer. So pretty happy there. These are some like um, Wiss or Wise AA11 scissors. I pay like three bucks for these on the estate sale. They sold for 30 on a best offer. I think they're for someone who does sewing and stuff. I'm not even sure really. Um, here's a laser tag site. This goes to the Tiger Electronics laser, laser tag. Um, I got this for. What did I pay for this? I think I paid. Um, like 50 cents or a dollar at a flea market, and I sold it for 24 ships, so pretty cool. And then a Tommy Hilfiger, um, this is a brand new with tag, uh, just a long sleeve shirt, no crazy emblems or anything on it, double XL, it finally sold for 22 ships on the best offer, so you can see it's nothing special, um, it's one where I think I paid like four or five for it, so I just finally took an offer to get rid of it. Two uh, kitchen appliance pieces, this is a Cuisinart DLC 10 lid, it sold for 15 shipped, and this is a Sunbeam Oscar, Oscar or whatever. It's a 14081 lid. This sold for 18 shipped, this lid. It's not even the best food processor, but these ones, for whatever reason, sell pretty well for me. 
And then uh, the biggest sale is the Ultima, the second trilogy. This sold for one thirty shipped. Um, I believe it's complete. It's a floppy drive or a floppy um, disk game. Uh, pretty cool. It comes with maps and everything. So that sold full price sale. So really happy with that. And I do have that other clothing item left to show you guys. So hopefully it'll be on the back end. If you have any questions, let me know. Please hit the like, you know, subscribe, all that good stuff. It does help the video and me as well. Get my name out there. So hopefully more people will want to watch so we can help them as well. And um, again, if you have any questions about anything or whatever, please feel free to message me in the comments. A lot of people do, and I try to respond within a few days if I can. So take care. Hello, everyone. Final sales um, from the weekend. The cool pants for the clothing item they sold for 55 shipped. I had paid like eight bucks. And then Harvest Moon. This is actually two games. Another Wonderful Life and Magical Melody. Uh, these came in a GameCube lot for 25 bucks with the system and controllers and everything. These sold for 55 shipped.